Welcome to Das Geek. So you're probably wondering what disgusting thing am I staring at right now? What the hell is Das Geek up to? Well, you're staring at a Cheerio. And I figured, I've got kids, there's plenty of Cheerios hanging around. So why not put them under one of these, a Celestron handheld microscope. So this microscope is not a particularly expensive one. Uh, but it has the power of 10 times, 40 times, and 150 times utilizing LED illumination. And what you're seeing in this Cheerio is live. And it's very interesting just looking at the glazy donut-like structure of the Cheerio. You can see the sugar on top that's solidified. You can see little brown and black specks in there. And this is a Cheerio fresh out of the box, too. It's not one I found on the ground. What's interesting is... If we remove this Cheerio and I just show it to you normally, you don't see any of that. Yeah. And I guess you could consider this Will It Linux. Uh, this worked right out of the box, plugging in into Linux, and you can use a program Cheese, or right now I'm actually using just OBS because this acts very similar to a webcam. In fact, it really just kind of is a magnified webcam. And it's very cool. You can do things with um, not only Cheerios, bugs, coins, those type of things. I also did a magnification of my little Shakespeare character here. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let me turn this video capture device off for a second. And bring in, look at that. So that's this little guy here's eye. And you can see these little imperfections and specks and dust. I mean, it's just, it's incredible, the difference. And... Also did a coin here to show you. So this is a little five cent coin and the details and also a circuit board. So not only can you see the writing on the circuit board, but you can also see the fabric of the mouse pad, the little woven fabrics there. So let's see if we can get Shakespeare back up in here. It's pretty easy to use. This is the device here, a little handheld microscope. It can come right out of this uh, case and you can hold it. Although I find trying to keep it stable enough to get a clear picture while just holding it is, is kind of difficult. So better to keep it in the stand. The stand is very, very heavy, nice metal. Uh, the camera itself is plastic and you have a little focus ring right here that you move until you get it in focus. And very similar to um, a microscope, you know, you've got to spend some time adjusting before you're going to get the right image. It's not just going to, like we'll show you right here. I'm going to turn this back on. It's not going to just autofocus in on it. I happen to have about the right focal point here, though, for this. So let me stop the vibrations. Maybe a little bit of adjustment here and there. A little too much. There we go. Pretty clear picture right there. And we've magnified up on that. So this little Celestron microscope handheld digital microscope very very cool you can see some of the images that they have there of the circuit boards and things that they're using as examples and i found it to be very close to its advertising this is a great way if you're doing circuit board repair or if you're trying to read the text on something small like a serial number etc uh, it's also fun just to play with with the kids and put different toys and things underneath it and let them see the pictures live works perfectly in linux or windows uh, you can install the program that comes with the software within Windows, or if you're using Linux, just use Cheese or OBS or any other webcam app, and you're good to go. There's also a button on the very top of this right here, and that button, you just press that, and in an application like Cheese, it will take a picture of it. So, very cool. I think it's a fantastic product, especially for the price. You can see the price eh, 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 right there. Hey, right there's where I'm going to put it. That's where you're going to see the price of this unit. So I'm enjoying it. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Tell me in the comments if you've used one of these, maybe a higher end version or something, and you like it and a lot of fun. Until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't get too far. Don't get the video.